I am in heaven. Quick little Costco haul. Ew. Ew. I'm gonna be making Moroccan fish. I'll never let go, Jack. I'm back. I'm back. And for you guys that don't know what Shabbat is, we just totally disconnect from technology and electricity, power. I ordered a new chair from Target. <laughs> Camera just too bright, or am I really in need of a tan? That's that's the real question. Did you bring my water? Yeah. Thank you, my love. How is this something I've only been doing recently? What's it called? Water preserving temp water temperature. Uh, I put cold water in this last night, no ice, and it's still ice cold right now, which is amazing. Our fridge is finally stocked up. After we got our Walmart order yesterday, I finally feel like I can open it and there's like ideas of what to make. But we are heading over to Costco today and it's gonna be my first time ever at Costco. This Canadian girl is really excited. I'm gonna show you guys a quick outfit of the day. Don't mind the mess in the background. You could also see Aaliyah's little booger spray over there, but really hot outside, so I just wanted to wear a pair of shorts. These are my new favorite denim shorts. They're from Old Navy. What I love about them is that they're a really good length. Like I could definitely make them high-waisted if I wear a belt, but lately I've been liking wearing my denim shorts a little bit lower but they're such a good length you guys if you're somebody who doesn't feel comfortable wearing shorts that are like super mini and very short just like me really good alternative so i'm gonna link them down below but they're a really nice wash they got a little bit of distressing and then this is just a t-shirt i thrifted and i'm just carrying my green tote so i can carry around my vlog camera and for the shoes oh can't forget to mention these my new favorite converse i actually get a lot of questions about how comfortable they are and they really are because they're like a platform i don't know they just make me feel like i should walk taller and i really like that i found them on poshmark had a better deal but they're available everywhere so i'm gonna link them down below too i am in heaven yeah, well so like far thousand dollars now and all well, snacks. so far we only got snacks but you know it's so tempting to get everything but the good thing is we actually keep kosher which limits us to only getting things to that only are 90 kosher. Of the store, no. these days a lot of things are kosher so <gasps> nutella dunk sticks no baby You know, I actually used to eat this just like that, but then TikTok started coming out with that like viral sushi bowl, you know what I'm talking about? These are the best and they're honestly the only kosher seaweed snack. Okay, we gotta stop buying snacks. Okay, so these right here are vegetable patties that my mother-in-law bought for Aaliyah and Aaliyah's obsessed with them. They actually taste so good. Macros on them are pretty good too. I could eat like a bunch of these. No, but we have no space for that in the freezer. We're gonna buy nothing. That's the beef. Also, oh, everything. We're gonna buy ourselves in the freezer here too. All right, we made it to the little kosher aisle. Guys, this feta cheese, I'm obsessed. You guys know how much I put feta cheese on everything? And this Israeli one is so good because it's like super salty like I like. And it crumbles and it's creamy and it's, it's really good. Okay, babe, I, I really don't know how we're gonna have space for all of this. Okay, Egan's bringing everything inside. Aliyah and I already digging into a cheese string. Aliyah, you like it? She loves cheese string. Mm. Yummy! Mmm, it's mm, so good. You already have one, Missy. Quick little Costco haul. First, seaweed snacks. You guys saw perfect if you want to make those like sushi rice salmon bowls. That's great. I got these. I'm obsessed with these. These are rice ramen noodles. A lot of people always buy like the regular ramen soups, but I feel like if you just buy the noodles separately, it makes a lot more sense because you could put as many noodles as you want if you want to make your own soup. They're made of organic brown rice and I personally really like the way that they taste. They also come in like a purple color if you want to have like an aesthetic looking bowl of ramen. Okay, I'm always somebody who likes to make my guac fresh usually, but I saw that they were selling these guacamole packets and because they're packaged separately, you could always just take one if you want a snack and you don't have to worry that the rest is gonna go bad. And everything in here is organic and based on the ingredients, it doesn't look like there's any crazy preservatives in it. So super worth it to get if you wanna have like a snack on the go to take for lunch. Dang girl, she ate the whole thing in her mouth. I know, she really loves cheese. <laughs> we got these Stonyfield probiotic smoothies. I personally really love strawberry flavored smoothies, so I'm just gonna be drinking these on the go. Elon's version, he got the protein ones. I don't know, we don't have a review of this yet, but a lot of people said that it's really good. It is the Fairlife Tristan Plan chocolate flavor. And apparently they have a strawberry one too, which we need to hunt it down. You have these mini fruit bars. I guess they're like an alternative what? to like, like fruit roll up and stuff like that. Fruit roll ups? Or yeah. foot by the foot. And there's literally only two fruit ingredients. Fruit roll up and foot by the foot. It's I don't know. Fruit what... by the oh. foot. <laughs> she has a lot of cheese in her mouth. <laughs> Ew. Okay. Oh. We're okay. We survived. We also got these shavers. Shave Haley's hairy ass legs. <laughs> 
These clusters are so good. Every time I go to Egan's parents' house, I like devour them. They're basically a bunch of nuts that are roasted and put together with honey, so it tastes delicious. Because we keep kosher and we can't have dairy after meat, sometimes I really crave chocolate, so because of that, I like eating dark chocolate. There's jacket cheese stick. So. Look, 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 let's see what happens. One thing we love about Aliyah, thank God, is that she loves to share. If she's eating something, she'll give it to you to try, but she has to have the last bite. It's true. That's true. And if it's something she really likes, she'll only pretend to give it to you. And right? then she'll take and it back. And then she'll take it back. <laughs> kind of like how Haley was in the beginning of our relationship. <laughs> <laughs> So we're headed to the pool now. Maybe have like 30, 40 minutes. It is so sunny outside. She's excited. She loves the pool. She's so happy. She's honestly so white that I'm always so terrified to put her in the sun. So I got her like a long sleeve shirt to wear whenever we take her to the pool or to water in general. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh. And yeah. Oh, there we go. Oh my gosh, this thing is perfect. While they're at the pool, thought I would sneak in a little lunch. <laughs> Paid actress. Ema. Ema. Okay, how many videos do you guys think it will take for Aliyah to actually say Ema? Because she always says Abba, which means dad in Hebrew. The kids behind. She loves other kids, huh? Uh oh, Phoenix! <laughs> like, put her finger in my mouth, and this is like sunscreen, so I like spit like ew, and she's laughing. <laughs> Good morning, you guys. Happy Friday. We're terrible vloggers. It's been a few days since we last vlogged. We're not used to it. We're working our way there, you know? But thought I would give you guys an update on this guac. I'm obsessed. I've had it at least every single day, Egan too, and I still have so much more left. Like, it's amazing. It's $6 for a box of like 24 little packs like this. It tastes so good. And I pair it together with these pretzels. These are so yummy and thin. So I'm gonna have that kind of like as a pre-breakfast because today we're actually gonna be hosting um, some people over at our house. Friday every single week is pretty much a holiday for us because it's Shabbat. And for you guys that don't know what Shabbat is, so we're Jewish and according to the Torah, God created the world within six days and then on the seventh day he rested. And the way that we kind of replicate that and represent that today is that every single week from Friday night till Saturday night, there's a period of 25 hours that we kind of just live like a very, very simple life in what sense? We sit down with our family, we have dinner on Friday night, we have lunch on Saturday afternoon. For those whole 25 hours, we just totally disconnect from technology and electricity, power. So we call this Shabbat. I look forward to it every single week because it's really the best time to spend with your family. We all have dinner, we all talk. There's no phones, no distractions. We even go as far as to like not drive cars. We don't go anywhere. We don't turn on any of the lights. We have little loopholes for things. Like we have hot plates that warm up our food and we have automatic lights in the house. We're obviously allowed to like take advantage of like power and light and stuff. We just physically can't turn things on and off. Meaning we can have the lights on or we can have automatic lights in the house on a timer, but we just physically can't turn on and off the lights. And I know that for so many people, this may seem so different and a very interesting 
way to live but i feel like it's something that's been keeping us very grounded really appreciative of one another and also kind of forces us in a good way to disconnect from our work so in our families we tend to kind of like rotate who hosts every week most of the time we are at Evan's parents house in canada we were usually at my parents house but Evan's parents are actually in israel right now visiting some family so we just decided to host all of Evan's siblings here for shabbat and if there's anything you guys will learn from this on shabbat we literally cook so much food i'm talking like a whole fish course a bunch of salads we got a lot of meat courses too so i thought since i'm home all day anyway might as well take you guys along with me to cook for today we're making moroccan fish we're making some tacos some fajitas we got guac salads a bunch of fun stuff Evan cleaned up the house yesterday he's also going to take care of setting the table and we'll kind of show you what a friday in our life looks like and then you'll kind of understand why fridays i tend to be very mia because i'm usually very occupied in preparations for shabbat and all thought we'd get started with kind of like our first food i'm gonna be making moroccan fish guys this fish was actually huge i'm only using half of it so right now i just washed it and i salted it waiting for the salt to soak in then i'm gonna cut it up and moroccan fish is basically like salmon fillet with a bunch of like spices and a tomatoey pepper sauce it's honestly delicious i'm gonna be using my cousin's recipe on his instagram he has a bunch of like different recipes for food so i'm gonna leave his instagram down below if you guys want to go ahead and check it out but i'm gonna start off with prepping all my veggies and then we'll get into the spices and i'll show you the process <laughs> veggies are all sauteed. I'm gonna go in and add my spices. First you're gonna do some salt and pepper. Got some smoked paprika. I'm gonna add in a bit of cumin because we don't have coriander. And then we have some fresh cilantro. We're only putting in half for now. We're gonna do the other half towards the end. Next we add the fish. So now that the fish is all cut I'm just gonna put it face down so that the fish itself can actually absorb all of that sauce and flavor. Okay, now that the fish is face down, I'm gonna do what my cousin taught me in terms of sauce. It's genius, it's so good. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take a tablespoon. It's called consomme, but basically it's just chicken flavor powder. So one full tablespoon of that. Then you're gonna also take a lot of paprika, fill up a whole spoon. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna eye it, but you're gonna put about a tablespoon of paprika in here. Paprika is really what makes Moroccan fish taste so like spiced and good. Apologies in advance to any like actual Moroccans who watch this and they're like, huh, is that how you make it? So you have your paprika chicken powder mix. I actually also like to add a little bit of tomato sauce because I just feel like it makes it a lot saucier. So I'm gonna add about three or four tablespoons of that. We got some hot water. I just hope this glass doesn't pop. What makes glasses pop sometimes though? I think when it makes heat and cold together. I put hot water and I put cold water and it's the opposite and it cracks. Uh -huh. I just know that the chicken powder doesn't mix well if it's not <gasps> mixed in. Ooh, what B -B. did you do? Did me, B -B. First of all, why would you do that without a funnel? Second, why would you not do it no, over the sink? No, it, it went through but it overflowed. <laughs> <laughs> just making more for me to clean up. Fill the water up to the top, give it a good mix. And then I'm just gonna pour that sauce all over the fish. Mm. Yummy, yummy! And then my favorite part is the olives and the chickpeas. So I'm gonna just pour some of the chickpeas right on top. Then I'm just gonna roughly chop some of these olives and just throw them in as well. There's hair everywhere. I know, I'm shedding. What can I say? Postpartum life. And then we're just gonna throw some more cilantro. All right, you guys, I'm gonna let this fish simmer away. And that's pretty much done. Just give it a shake. I'm gonna put it on like medium high and just let it simmer. You guys, honestly, I was so occupied with cooking. I just realized I completely forgot to show you how I made the fajitas. But my oh my, they look so freaking good. I made it with chicken breast and the veggies. And I actually just followed this TikTok right over here. I'm gonna leave it so you guys can see the recipe, but super easy and it honestly smells incredible. The only concern is that because this is chicken breast, I'm scared it's gonna get dry really quick. So I kind of like undercooked it a little bit so it can finish cooking on the hot play tonight. Yay! Bubana is home! Hello? <laughs> Say hi! <laughs> Where are you going? <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. <laughs> and what is that? Why is it very heavy? <laughs> I ordered a new chair from Target. Higher. Why is it heavy? Or is it just big? <laughs> Yay! Good job, Baba! <laughs> I just hope that it didn't get damaged. Is okay. the lights already 
Yeah, and now we'll put Bubun in here and we'll ship her. Oh. Wow, she looks like Dr. Evil. Give me one million dollars. <laughs> What is she doing? She just like has a thing where she loves to climb underneath things, over things, and just like hides like a cat. Lilush! Okay, we are all ready for Shabbat. Aaron's looking all handsome. He's about to go to shul. And Vavu, are you gonna go sleep now? Or are you gonna wait? You gonna have dinner with us? Wow. So yeah, Shabbat's about to come in soon. I'm gonna head out to synagogue and pray. Hey. Yeah, I guess this is where we cut off from here because we can't use the camera no more. Honestly, disconnect for the next 25 hours, which I'm really excited for. But the table right here, it's all set. We just don't have any of the food on it. Kitchen, it obviously looks a mess because I have to clean it up before our guests actually come. So this is what we're working with. But we got everything. We got the fish. We got the chicken. Everything looks good. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, be sure to give it a really big thumbs up. Comment down below how it was seeing, I guess, a little bit of a different side of our life. I know a lot of people always ask us questions about our religion. So I'm curious on how it resonates with you guys. If you have any questions, leave them down below for us as well. Be sure to subscribe down below if you haven't already. And we can't wait to see you in the next one. Love you from the Hey Family. Love you guys. Shabbat shalom.